Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to clone a VGEDC16U1 ECU using the Alientech KES V3 on Bench. If you find this tutorial helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. Now, let's get into it. Cloning the VGEDC16U1 ECU can be done via various methods including OBD, Bench, or boot depending on the specific model such as the Skoda Octavia Combi 1Z5 2004 EDC 16U1. For this demonstration, I'll focus on the bench mode. Here's how it's done. First, remove the ECU from the vehicle. Then, connect to the ECU and select Identify ECU in the programming menu to ensure correct recognition. Always remember to make a full backup of the ECU before proceeding with any operations. For the bench mode operation, Plug in the bench power supply 1400K3 alum to the KSS3 and connect the cable 144300K BNC to the ECU connector. Using appropriate extensions 144300K are according to the pinout provided. Next, connect the KSV3 to the EDC16U1 ECU and computer using the corresponding cable and supply power to KS3 as well. Run the Alien Tech Suite software. Input EDC16U1 to choose the desired ECU model and select bench connection mode. Now, you can start performing the read slash write functions. Once the operation starts, you'll see identify ECU OK followed by read backup OK, which usually takes about three minutes. It's worth noting that writing data is also fast. Additionally, if you prefer using Yinwa AC B2 with module 32, it's another option to clone VW EDC16U1 ECU. For the wiring diagram, pin 58 is T0, brown, pin 28 is T1, orange, pin 5 and 18 are 12V, yellow, pin 1 is GND, black, and pin 72 is K-line, purple. Ensure correct connections for ACP2, K-line adapter, K-line cable, and EDC16U1 DME according to the provided wiring diagram. For more detailed steps and related posts, check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future updates. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.